Okay, this is Max set 7, question 6. Pauline has a box of marbles. Two-fifths of the blue marbles is equal to one-third of the red marbles. So two-fifths of blue is the same as one-third of red. Okay. Now once again, we make numerator the same because they are the same. So this one times two, it becomes two over six red. So in actual fact, blue to red, the ratio is five is to six because we take the denominator now. Okay, five to six. Okay. There are ten more green marbles than red marbles. If she had one, one, two marbles, how many more green marbles does she have than blue marbles? So blue will be five units, red will be six units, and then green will be six units plus ten actual marbles. Okay? And this all will add up to be one one two. Okay. So this eleven units uh, sorry not eleven units. This all add up will be five U plus six U plus six U equals to seventeen units. So seventeen units plus ten is actually one one two. Seventeen units equals to one one two. I can get rid of this ten, right? One one two minus ten equals to one zero two. 1 unit is equals to 102 divided by 7 sorry 102 divided by 17 6 okay so 1 unit is 6 they ask how many more green marbles does she have than blue marbles so let's find green green will be 6 units 6 times 6 equals to 36 36 plus 10 equals to 46 so this is actually green okay how many more green than blue marbles? Blue marbles is 5 units. 5 units is 6 times 5 equals 30. So I take 46 minus 30 equals to 16. She has 16 more marbles. Okay. Last question. Now, this is quite a simple question. Mr. Lim drove one eight of his journey at a speed of 60 km per hour. Fifth, 5 over 7 of the remaining journey at 75 km per hour and complete the rest of the 60 km of the remaining 60 km in half an hour. So I have one eight here. Then very nicely, this is one unit. I have seven units left and five seven of the remaining journey. So I can actually simply break it up really. Okay, seven units here. So I know she completed this this part here in sixty km per hour. Okay, this part here. Then the remaining fifth five seven five seven from here to here. Okay, at seventy five km per hour. And the remaining journey. Okay, this part here at half in half an hour, and we were told is sixty km. Now through this, everything becomes very straightforward. Okay, I can find the distance. Okay, two units because there's two units here is sixty km. So one unit is thirty km. So from here, I know this thirty km. This one, this part here is five units. Five units is thirty km times five equals to one fifty km. So this whole portion is one fifty km. Okay. Now next we have to find the time. Okay. This portion, the first portion, 30 km divided by 60 km per hour equals to half an hour. So he took half an hour here. Okay. Next 150 km divided by 75 km per hour equals to two hours. So he took two hours here. So add this two, this two together, two and a half, two and a half plus half an hour equals to three hours. So two hour plus half an hour plus half an hour equals to three hours. So he took three hours. Okay. B. What was his average speed for the whole journey? Now, if you have managed to do the time distance line properly, all your information should be down here. 
So it's very easy to find the total distance. Total distance is actually uh, 30 km times 8 units is 240 km. Okay, so 240 km, he took 3 hours equals to 80 km per hour. Okay, so his average speed is 80 kilometers per hour. 